I know health and safety is going to be up my butt for this because somebody technically drowned on my bridge, but I'm still giving this plan a B plus. I think all we need to do is give the jalopy just a little bit more flip room and then everything should be fine. There's no way it's heavier than the tow truck, is it? <laughs> because if it hits that second bridge again and it falls apart, I am going to be pissed. Just stick the flip. Oh. Okay, I mean, whatever floats your boat, dude. <laughs> that is hands down the most baller polybridge move I have ever seen. I couldn't have made him do something cooler on purpose. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Polybridge 2. Uh, that game where you can pocket as much of the infrastructure budget as you want, so long as people don't drown. But my only responsibility is to keep them out of the water, so if their airbags don't deploy on impact, that's not my fault. They're gonna give me $25,000 to get the world's smallest clown car and the world's biggest hippie van from one side of the river to the other, with the small caveat being that the hippie van refuses to drive over boat traffic. It has to stop exactly two squares above sea level halfway across the river, otherwise the bridge is completely unacceptable. How these beatniks got into a position to make demands, I don't know, I'm not being paid to ask questions, I'm being paid to build bridges. Because this is definitely going to be an air quote of a bridge. I mean, they technically gave me hydraulics, so I could build some kind of bridge that would move out of the way, but I would rather just kind of ramp them to success ever so gently. I should be able to hit... There we go. I found a couple of clever tools in between episodes, so now I can definitely screw around quite a bit more. How far do you think this hippie van can jump? Like, I'm sure someone somewhere has asked that exact question before while stoned out of their trees and then found out the hard way. Fortunately, I have complete faith in my bridge. Like, it's not gonna break, I know that. I I'm a lot more concerned about the drivers. Like, the soccer mom in the front is gonna have to stick the front roll. Way to go, Karen. <laughs> You're a champ. Now, so long as the hippie van can just drive straight forward, everything will be fine. Fine. Oh. My. God. Why is it always you? <laughs> like, just throw the waterbed into the front or something like that. Get this thing tipping. It has the wheel radius of a shopping cart. Watch this ever so slight adjustment be catastrophic. This bridge is going to explode somehow. I know it. It always happens. Like, maybe Karen won't be able to stick the roll? Nope. Come hell or high water, those kids are getting a swimming practice. Just you wait. <laughs> now, I've made the clearance so much more tolerable. There's no excuse. All you have to do is eat it. I don't care if you land on your ass. That's perfectly fine. Oh, you can't land on Karen like that. <laughs> wait, I just got some kind of achievement. It was probably some kind of car mating achievement, I would imagine. They're doing that thing again that makes me think that they're onto my budget embezzling ways. Like, they're giving me less money to make a way more complicated bridge. Like, suddenly the river is twice as wide, we've only got two points to connect to, and apparently a VIP to help across. I, I didn't get a memo as to who that is. Uh, maybe it's the president of a certain country, or, or uh, Wesley Snipes? I don't know why, when trying to come up with an example of a celebrity, my brain instantly goes to Wesley Snipes. <laughs> I haven't seen him in anything in like 20 years. <laughs> okay, either way, I'm gonna have to build something like a popsicle stick bridge because that's all I got to work with. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Snipes, it's not what it sounds like. You don't need to worry. Popsicle stick bridge is really just bridge builder lingo. You know, it's what we say when we're using rickety cheap materials to build something that probably won't work. But don't you worry, you'll get back to not, not, not paying your taxes in no time. Actually, in all reality, that's probably where my budget comes from to begin with, so we kinda had it coming. That being said, I've got some faith in this bridge. I'm not gonna say how much, because there's a strong possibility that it's just gonna fold like a cheap lawn chair. Oh, what? You're too good to do your own stunts all of a sudden? I spent $20,000 on this thing, and it fell apart faster than a dollar store granola bar. Like, I would imagine
imagine that the only improvement that I can make is gonna be bracing up against the environment. This doesn't usually work out all that well, but I would imagine that might make a slight difference. Okay, so long as Jeeves is gentle on the brakes, Calm it down, Jeeves, there we go. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> so I only got to keep three grand this time around, but I mean, that's $3,000 more than Wesley Snipes is earning. I'm really starting to see a pattern with this game. Look, once again, they've cut my budget. I get to spend about half as much now. There's another hover yacht just screeching its way down the river and another entitled driver. And the, I, I get it, they're a first responder, so you know, hats off to the mad respect, all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, could we not just drive up and over a little bit of an incline to avoid striking boat traffic? It would make my life so much easier. Otherwise, you know, I'm gonna have to build a drawbridge and to build a drawbridge, I'm, I'm gonna have to think. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't exactly like thinking when it comes to this game. I like sweet jumps and dumb jokes. That's what these videos are. So hopefully we can push the bridge parts out of the way using those hydraulics, except then we can't connect to either of these parts, otherwise the bridge is going to tear itself apart. There's a strong possibility it's going to tear itself apart no matter what, to be honest. <laughs> like, every bridge I make, just assume that there's like a 50% chance that it's going to tear itself apart, a 30% chance that it's going to collapse, and then maybe a 20% chance that something goes right by accident? Does, does that look reasonable? I think that looks pretty reasonable. So far, so good. It hasn't committed bridge seppuku. <laughs> okay, you go along your way. Everything is fine. Now, please put on your sirens so the yachts know to stop. They're not gonna stop, let's be perfectly honest. Okay, well, at least he put on his sirens. <laughs> okay. We always had it. Wasn't even close to failing. Easy peasy. Uh, what am I looking at right now? Like, I've only got $8,000 to spend, which is probably reasonable considering I only have one anchor point to connect to, but for some reason this person's fabulous vacation destination is like on a piece of wood dangling over a lake. Okay, technically you weren't wearing a helmet, that's not my fault. I'm assuming I'm supposed to buttress up against whatever this thing is. It, it looks like somebody built half a bridge and then just called it a day. I, I can't imagine who would do something like that. <laughs> Real shoddy work. They should be ashamed of themselves. I wonder how much of the budget they managed to pocket. <laughs> yeah, I think if we do a little something like this, we should be fine, right? It's not perfect, but the motorcycle is pretty light. They should have no problem swimming are ghost bridges cheaper like i didn't even realize that was an option well now that we know that this bridge building simulator has decided that physics are a myth how about we go ahead and try something like this we're gonna buttress right up against the wall of the canyon whatever you want to call it and then hopefully that way it'll be able to support itself or snap like a neck in a liam neeson movie Listen, lady, I swear, I'm not trying to get you wet. Get your mind out of the gutter. As much as I do hate spending money, I feel like this is the main problem. We need more buttresses, more surface area up against that canyon wall, and if we can make it somewhat symmetrical, then that should work, right? I I've got a whole lot of confidence in this now, and you can be on your way. It sucks that I only got to take home like 1500 bucks, but at the same time, at least Biker Bertha here won't be trying to give me a colostomy with her fist. The very first step to being a bridge builder is to plan. Okay, you need to assess all of these people's situations and then execute. I mean, execute the plan, not the people. I know that can be easily confused by my work. So we've got $12,000 to make sure that this red sports car doesn't have to share an exit with all of the other plebs. So we're gonna make sure that he gets off on some kind of upper car patio. I don't know why exactly, there's no way off. He's gonna be stuck up there. But I'm not being paid to ask questions. I'm getting paid to build bridges. I'm gonna start using air quotes. I'm hoping that'll help with whatever lawsuit ends up coming my way. So I think we wanna start with something like this. Right? We'll make a split so that it doesn't tear itself apart. It's probably still gonna tear itself apart. But this way, he can go up, 
and then we'll separate him from all of the peasants. I would imagine we're gonna need our hydraulics to be somewhere down here, but of course they're not gonna reach, so we'll put our supports underneath, then attach the hydraulics and everything will be hunky-dory. I, I have complete and total faith in my work. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's run it. So you can go along your way. You have a good day, sir. Just keep hanging out up there. I told you that there was not a very good over-under on the fact that it's going to tear itself apart. Um, you might want to learn your lesson. Oh, it did. Saw the guy in front drown and decided, nah, you know what? I'll, I'll wait for the next bridge. So there might have been a slight miscalculation with the hydraulics. Okay, it happens. You know, we're all human, even bridge builders. It was supposed to be actually... 32%, not 50%. There we have it. <laughs> Sir, have a good day. Thank you very much. Oh, it was supposed to be a negative one. <laughs> oh, that might actually be worse. Did I say positive 32? I meant to say negative 32. There we go. Really sorry about this, sir. I, I, I swear I'm not trying to waste your time <laughs> making you do this over and over again. Oh, come on. That's got to be close enough. We do accept close enoughs here in the bridge building business. No, no. Why would you go back up? No, you're a peasant. You're not allowed up onto the... Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't drive into him. God damn it. I don't understand this system in the slightest. I haven't changed anything from the first attempt, and now I think it works. It goes down, and then you go, and then it stays down, but it's the exact same. Why? I mean, I'll take the victory, but I would like to know why my bridge does what it does. Now, I'm not saying that this school bus full of kids is gonna go careening into the lake because of my incompetence, but... I am saying, if you guys can hear me, maybe start taking deep breaths right about now. And if there's a young Clark Kent on board, move him towards the back. <laughs> While you're at it, if you got any dino crackers in there, you could always toss them out to me. They're probably a whole lot more durable than what I'm using to build this bridge. <laughs> like, I just, I haven't had a whole lot of success building bridges across long distances. Or building rope bridges. Or, yeah, rope bridges. Not, not bridges made out of rope. I might as well be building them out of rope and crackers because that's what it feels like. I could try using metal underneath, but I don't like using metal all that much. You know, it's, it's expensive. It spends a whole lot of money. A whole lot of my money. That's the problem. But like, even then, that's still going to fall apart. I have no doubt. So why did they give me rope? I've got nowhere to connect to unless... I did something like that, and then I could connect here and here, yeah, there we go, now we're thinking with ropes. <gasps> okay, you know what kids, I take it back, you can hold on to the crackers, we've got an ingenious plan in motion, I believe in this, <laughs> that should definitely do the job. Okay, the rope was really there for aesthetics, don't worry about it, I have no doubt that the bridge will Pull it off anyway. <laughs> that was the last level. What a way to finish it. Oh my god. And I completed the entire world under budget. 99.8% stress. Holy crap. I know it's only the first world, so it's not really that much to be proud of, but at the same time, having finished everything under budget and non-breaking, while not really paying attention, but spending more time thinking up jokes and screwing around and making meme bridges, it feels pretty good. This new world has already got me super confused. Look, what is this scenario? We've got $26,000 to build a bridge across a river with varying water heights? I don't think this is some kind of man-made dam, so I don't know how that works. And then the bridge is going to be used by a tow truck and a jalopy for the world's strangest drag race. <laughs> Except it's rigged, of course, because the tow truck is going to get there first. So we're going to have to make sure to do a little something like this. A little something like this. Except I don't have hydraulics. So I can't connect this to here, otherwise the tow truck can't get out. Right, so you might have to take a bit of a jump, Mr. Jalopy. 
I mean, you'll land on the ground, so you won't break anything. You might break your car, but you won't break the bridge. Worst case scenario, we've got a tow truck nearby. I find it hard to believe that the answer would be that simple. It is just a couple of straightforward bridges. We're doing this at night, which is interesting. Does the jalopy not work? Was I supposed to get the tow truck up, up there? No, we're good. It works. For now. Okay, it's not going to work underwater. <laughs> I know health and safety is going to be up my butt for this because somebody technically drowned on my bridge, but I'm still giving this plan a B plus. I think all we need to do is give the jalopy just a little bit more flip room and then everything should be fine. There's no way it's heavier than the tow truck, is it? Because if it hits that second bridge again and it falls apart, I am going to be pissed. Just stick the flip. Okay. I mean, whatever floats your boat, dude. <laughs> that is hands down the most baller polybridge move I have ever seen. I couldn't have made him do something cooler on purpose. <laughs> First hover yachts and now pirate ships? Are you kidding me? Like, I get it. It can be difficult to say no to some people, whether they be rich, whether they be ready to plunder you. But either way, I wish I didn't have to build a freaking drawbridge. I'm not building a drawbridge. I don't care. I I'm, I'm going to use my little Tracy tool and do my best to build something that is not quite a drawbridge. How close do you think I can get? Maybe something like that? I'm gonna try that. I think I can then fill it out. Oh, that's gonna be close. You'd think this would be perfectly symmetrical, right? So I should be able to do something like this, copy, and then flip, and then put it right over there. There we go. That's gonna make building a whole lot easier, but not quite as precise as I was hoping for. Okay, well, we're probably gonna have to use a couple pieces of metal up there. That's fine. You know, you want a nice strong top of your arch, and then the rest of it is gonna have to go down here, doing a little something like this. Again, we can copy, we can flip, we can put it right there. I mean, that looks like a pretty good bridge to me. I don't have any rope used anywhere, but I'm, I'm gonna run it. I think that could actually work. It's like I said, the arch is a very strong shape. Way, way stronger than a stupid old drawbridge. <laughs> don't hit my bridge. Don't hit my bridge. Do not hit my bridge. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, it's so close. Hippies. Don't screw with me, so help me God. This is the first try. I want this so badly. Yeah, that's right. You're way lighter than the fire truck. 93.9%, but I didn't need to use any hydraulics. I think my supervisors are finally starting to come around to my side. They gave me a budget of $58,000 and no hydraulics, so I can't build a drawbridge. I have to go up and over this oncoming steamboat and then down and under the other side. Oh, Wesley Snipes is back, of course. He has to be at exactly sea level at some point today. Otherwise, he's gonna make another Blade movie. We certainly don't want that now, do we? So I guess I'm just gonna have to do a little something like this is not gonna work. There is no way you are gonna be able to deal with that. You get the turning radius of an airplane. So how are we gonna get you up and then down? Have you ever built something and then thought to yourself, this is an abomination, I should be ashamed. I mean, I haven't. I think this is amazing. I'm really hoping that it works, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> There's a strong likelihood it won't, because it's a complete wibbly-wobbly piece of garbage, but I'll link it to really whatever I can in the hopes that it won't fall over. Maybe a little something like this, and some supports down here. Do I not get to connect to this point? Come on now, work with me. There we go. That should be a thing? Yeah, you know what? I deem you officially a thing. Yeah, just like that. Okay, run it. It hasn't fallen apart under its own weight. I'm impressed. 
Let's see how you do. He's just struggling to get uphill. <laughs> Don't worry, it's like a roller coaster. You're gonna come crashing down the other side. Oh no, oh no, don't pick up too much speed because once you hit the next lump, it's perfect. Oh, don't, no, every time. <laughs> it's friggin' agony. Why can't you just give me the win right off the bat? Why you gotta make me work for it? Like you could've just gotten out and walked the extra few feet. Like this time around, you're not gonna be perfectly sea level, but that's your fault, okay? I had to move the bridge up. Now you're gonna be just a little bit above it. And you'll get there at about five miles per hour, round about the speed of smell. In all reality, the stresses are looking great. I don't think it ever gets above 50%. Just a bit of a fender scratch there, but I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, well, it worked, and I, I don't need to pay for any damages incurred on my bridges, so I'm going to consider that a big win. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Polybridge 2, guys. It's like I said, I know completing the first world or all of the levels so far under budget and without breaks isn't that big of an accomplishment, but I still feel really good about it because... I'm not trying all that much. Like, I, I'm not trying to gloat or something like that, but I am screwing around. I want to make funny bridges. I want to be entertaining, but it gives me hope that I might actually be able to beat the game if you guys want to see that. So as always, if you guys want more, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and I'll return to probably drown some more people. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.